In the previous video, I talked about the use of getter and setter methods in a class, which are used to get and set instance variables uh, for the class. In this video, I'm going to talk about a third type of method called a processing method or processor method that processes information. Uh, in this, I'll demonstrate here in this example. Um, in this student class, which models a student, I have a uh, instance variable for the name, the graduation year, and a, an array of doubles for the grade to the class. Uh, a zero argument constructor and a seven argument constructor, two for the name and grade year and five for the actual grades. And if I run it initially, you can see that it simply prints the student's name and year out. So what I want to do is I'm going to uh, create a processor method that processes the information, specifically calculates a GPA, uh, average GPA for the student. So I'll start off here and say public double calc. GPA GPA and again its its goal is to cycle through the array get a total of all the GPAs and divide by in this case five because there are five there and return that average GPA and then eventually print it in the in the two string method that I have here okay so this is a processor method take more than getting or setting it's actually performing a calculation or some algorithm. So I'll start off and I'll say uh, I'll say double total equals 0, 0.0, and that'll it's when we store the total into. And I'm going to go through the array and add up everything. So I'll say int index equals zero, index less than class grades. That's the name of the array. Class grades dot length. I'll go through the length of the array so I can trick them all. Index plus plus one two three and four. And what I'll do is, as I cycle through, I'll total up plus equals class grades index. Okay. Notice I use this plus uh, equals notation. It's very similar. It's exactly the same as total equals total plus class grades index. Um, typically when you are going to take a number and store it back in, into itself and accumulate things, plus equals is the short, short way to do it. Um, now after I cycle through the array and I have the total of all the GPAs, I'm going to uh, say total divide equals, I'm going to divide it by Same idea. I'm going to take what's in total, divide it by that, and put it back inside total. It's equivalent to saying total equals total divided by class grades dot length. So it's the equivalent. Okay. So anytime you are taking a value and storing it back in the original value, use this little shorthand notation. And then finally, I can return the total. Okay. Recall that this word public it means that it's visible to classes outside of student, namely the driver, and this word double means I'm returning a double. When all is said and done, it's going to give back a double. Um, and then finally, to see if this actually works, I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to say, uh, I'll add it in the middle here. Calc GPA. So I'll, I'll let it calculate the GPA, plus I think I'm going to put a new line in here. Plus, all right. So it'll put the name. It'll go off and calculate the GPA and put that number there, whatever it is, and then finally the graduation year. So I can see if uh, what the GPA of this person is. So I'll close this up, compile it. Hopefully no errors, and we'll run it. And there's a 3.5, which is correct because I put in values of a 4.0, a 4.0, 3.5, and two threes. So the average is a 3.5. So you can see it calculates the GPA right there as a 3.5. And just for fun, I'll go back in and change this to a 2.0 and a, a 1.0. wasn't a good quarter there. You compile and run it. And my GPA is now 2.5. So in this video, we created a processor method, a method that processes information or performs a calculation or some algorithm. 
and return some kind of answer. So uh, to review, I created a method called calc GPA. It's public, so it's visible by uh, the driver. Um, you can actually create private methods as well. Private methods are like helper methods that are, can only be called within the class that are not callable outside the class. Uh, but this one's public, returns a double. And inside the class, I uh, created a variable called total that with the running total, use the loop to go through the entire array, use this little shorthand notation, which is equivalent to that, to accumulate the total, divide by the length, which is five, uh, and uh, return it. And so this is an example of a processor type method.